Israel continues to work to secure more hostages in Gaza. And it's acknowledging a major military mistake that led to the deaths of three men its soldiers were supposed to rescue. Fox's Nate Foy is in Jerusalem with the latest. Today, Israel is releasing more information about how three hostages tried to survive before being mistaken for Hamas terrorists and accidentally shot and killed by Israeli soldiers. Take a look at these pictures released by the IDF. You see white sheets uh, with messages written on those sheets. Those messages written with leftover food, according to the IDF. They read, quote, SOS and help three hostages. IDF Chief of Staff Herod C. Halevi says the three men took their shirts off to show troops that they didn't have explosives. They were also waving a white flag. But in the confusion and panic of war, IDF soldiers shot and killed them. Halevi said this is not how soldiers are trained to react with hostages or Palestinians. If it's two Gazans with a white flag coming out to surrender, would we shoot at them? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's not the IDF. The IDF also announced that it's found the largest Hamas tunnel yet in Gaza. Take a look here. The tunnel's big enough to drive a car through. It's two and a half miles long. And more than that, it was just a couple hundred yards away from Israel's border. The project to build the tunnel was led by Hamas leader Ihya Sinwar's brother, Muhammad. Meanwhile, the humanitarian crisis in Gaza continues to worsen. Roughly 90% of Palestinians are displaced from their homes, and many are starving. You see their reaction here to an aid delivery truck arriving in the Gaza Strip. For those advocating for another humanitarian ceasefire, there is more hope as Egyptian security officials say both Israel and Hamas are willing to start negotiating another deal, but significant obstacles remain and there's no indication that a deal is close. In Jerusalem, Nate Foy, Fox News.